author Jeff Summers, and this is Writing Without Rules, where I'm writing a novel called Rough Beast in real time in order to demonstrate some of the lessons I've learned over the course of my writing career. And this is Homer, who doesn't want me to be recording this video right now. Yeah, I know. As I record this, I'm in the middle of chapter 17 of the book, and for those of you who care about word counts, that puts me at about 42,000 words. And, to be fair, I've written myself into a bit of a corner. Hi, I'm author Jeff Summers, and this is Writing Without Rules, where I'm writing a novel called Rough Beast in real time in order to demonstrate some of the lessons I've learned over the course of my writing career. Um, as I record this, I'm on chapter 17 of the book, which, for those of you who care, puts me at about 42,000 words. And to be honest, I've kind of written myself into a corner, um, so I'm taking a little break from the book in order to write a short story. Um, to be fair, I do this pretty often, both writing myself into corners and taking a break from the book to write a short story. Um, I'm an inveterate pantser. Um, that means that pretty often I don't really know where all the plot twists and swerves are going to take me, and sometimes when chasing down some drama, I rush headlong into a very dark, dark plot cave. Um, and I strike a match and I look around, and there's no obvious exit that makes any sense. Um, so you end up spending, you know, day after day sitting in that cave, pondering your next move while your characters sit around a fire playing cards and wondering when you're going to get your shit together. Um, when that sort when that happens, the best thing to do as the god creator of this universe is to teleport yourself out of that cave and go play in a different sandbox for a while. Um, it really doesn't matter if the story that you write in this exercise is any good. It doesn't even matter if you finish the story. The whole point is just to get out of the cave for a little while and, you know, see where your mind takes you. Because here's what usually happens. Um, when I teleport back into that cave, my characters, having been abandoned for what seems to them to be eternity, have gone insane, and they've built an impossible machine to escape the cave. In other words, my subconscious has solved the problem for me. As the saying goes, 60% of the time, it works every time. Um, well, thanks again for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeff Summers, and I think Impossible Machines would be a pretty cool band name.